Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to look at summarizing and paraphrasing. So in this lesson, we're going to answer these questions. What is summarizing? What is paraphrasing? We're going to give examples of both. And I'm going to teach you how to write a good paraphrase. So let's get started. So first up, what is summarizing? When you summarize, you state the major ideas of an entire source or part of a source in a paragraph or sentence. The key here is to write the summary using your own words. And this is very important, using your own words. If you use the words from the source, you have to put those words within quotation marks. Example, Marcel Danesi argues in Forever Young that having the financial capability and leisure time to spoil and pamper oneself leads many adults to sculpt and maintain an ageless look. So that's plagiarism, and so that's plagiarized. Most of the words are lifted directly from the original. So this would be an acceptable summary. Marcel Danesi argues in Forever Young that due to rising incomes, many adults now have the means to buy themselves the image of a young person. This is a good one. The summary is written using your own words. What is paraphrasing? Well, it is to present your idea of a source you will be using in your writing using your own words. Feng Li and Rubens in Writing a Journey argue that when you paraphrase, you still need to include the reference to the source. Just like that, page 526. So let's look at an example. Marcel Danesi argues that Nazism used to be the exclusive privilege of rich people. But now, people everywhere can afford an ageless look. Yet people risk falling in love with their own image. That's on page 31. That's plagiarized. Why? This is the answer. Even though the source is listed, this paraphrase is unacceptable. Too many of the words in the original are used directly here, including much of the entire sentences. So other points to talk about this example. When a string of words is lifted from a source and inserted without quotation marks, the passage is plagiarized, like this example. Changing a few words in a sentence is not a paraphrase, as you can see there. The yellow ones are the ones taken from the original. So it's plagiarized. Let's take a look at another example. Fashion models are contemporary icons of beauty. Hordes of people aspire to look and dress exactly like them. Fashion shows are part of the everyday scene. This is Danesi on page 39. Fashion models are modern symbols of beauty. Many people aspire to look and dress similar to them. Fashion shows are part of the regular scene. Well, this is unacceptable. Why? The paraphrase takes the structure of the original and substitutes a few words. It is too similar to the original one. So, what is a good paraphrase then? Number one, it represents an entire rewriting of the idea from the source. Number two, the sentences must be original in structure and wording. Number three, it should begin by introducing the author and conclude with a page reference to the material paraphrased. So let's take a look at a good example of a paraphrase. Marcel Danesi argues that fashion models are yet another example of our current society's narcissistic and insatiable desire for youth and beauty. He believes that many people aspire to look and act like models, and the fashion shows provide a voyeuristic, 
opportunity to emulate these icons of beauty. On page 39. Even though there are few words from the original, such as aspire and icons of beauty, these sentences are original in structure and wording, while accurately conveying the meaning of the source. So now is your turn. Try and paraphrase the following passage. Giraffes like acacia leaves and hay, and they can consume 75 pounds of food a day. So, pause the video, I'll give you five minutes, and then we'll share with the class. Now that you have finished, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, hit on the like button, and share with your friends. Until next time, bye-bye.